The price of XRP saw a significant drop. Is this something you should be worried about? XRP, which has been claiming to become the global payment currency, is presently experiencing a tense situation with its price action. However, this could probably be the best time to invest in this token to maximize the returns. Keep watching to know more. But first, we are giving away 25 XRP coins at the end of the month to one random subscriber to start on their XRP journey. All you need to do is to like the video, subscribe and comment your thoughts on XRP in the comment section. Welcome, XRP Army. Let's grow the XRP Lab community by pressing the like button and subscribe. It is essential to understand that XRP as a token is going to stay for a longer time than is expected by the SEC even though the token has been facing major price problems and other pressure due to its tense lawsuit, it is not expected to impact the token in the coming days significantly. We're going to talk about Ripple's XRP and its extremely bullish price trajectory in today's video. XRP's blockchain technology is designed in such a way that it will be adopted by financial institutions no matter how hard the SEC tries to tangle this token. The recent price of this token is significant because XRP is approaching a critical resistance level. While it is following Bitcoin's price uptrend, it is not operating in lockstep with the market. We do see some interesting things to talk about in this video. You all must have heard about El Salvador accepting Bitcoin as its legal tender? Well, that is finally happening. Yes, Bitcoin is going to become a legal tender and work alongside the dollar in rendering service as a consideration for the country. We must keep in mind that Bitcoin always has a massive impact on XRP's price. Therefore, with El Salvador accepting Bitcoin as legal tender, the same would have a thorough impact on XRP's price action as well. On the 7th of September, El Salvador became the first country to use Bitcoin as legal tender, alongside the US dollar. On El Salvador's acceptance, the token rose to its three-month highs on the 7th of September 2021 at $52,000. Michael Saylor also tweeted in favor of Bitcoin, addressing that every cyber hornet he knows is planning to buy $30 in Bitcoin in solidarity with the people of El Salvador and their leader. Furthermore, he was also invited to join them. Before moving into XRP's price action, let us talk about the lawsuit. What we have over here is a retweet by John E. Deaton from Digital Perspective Researcher on Hinman said, Based on my understanding of the present state of Ether, the Ethereum network and its decentralized structure, current offers and sales of Ether are not securities transactions. Hinman's deposition created a massive mishap in the suit as the former director expressed his views, which contradicts what the regulatory body has been saying. Judge Sarah Netburn had scheduled a telephone conference with the parties to discuss Ripple's request to produce internal documents by the SEC. The case arose after the regulatory body objected to the notion that the SEC's internal documents, which include the agency's discussion over the nature of XRP and Ethereum, are protected by the deliberative process privilege. The judge has already dismissed that argument twice because the court considers those documents relevant to Ripple's fair notice defense. The outcome of today's hearing could be a significant victory for Ripple. Those documents, according to Ripple, will expose the SEC's contradictions in its decision-making over the years, proving the agency didn't give fair notice that XRP could be considered a security. Because Judge Sarah made it clear that the discovery of these documents is essential for the determination of the suit, the third time annoyed the judge pretty bad, and she hung up the call after rejecting SEC's arguments and directing the agency to produce all documents. Furthermore, Judge Sarah Netburn has stepped up and agreed to have a personal view of the documents. She has decided to conduct an on-camera examination of the internal documents herself. This time she has asked the Ripple legal team not to be present. At the same time, she examines because the same is imperative to ascertain whether the SEC has overstepped the mark concerning deliberative process procedures to minimize fact discovery. If you thought that the discovery wasn't necessary, you will need a bit of correction here. The documents pertain to internal SEC discussions about Ripple's XRP and Ethereum before starting the legal case against XRP. Ripple has also requested that SEC employees' digital asset holdings be disclosed at the time of the legal action. Ripple lawyers argue that this is significant because former SEC Director William Hinman said Ethereum is a non-securities asset during a speech to the Yahoo Finance All Markets Summit in 2018 implying that Ethereum is a non-securities asset. Ripple successfully defeated the SEC's efforts to prevent the so-called Hinman deposition, following the controversial public admission. The speech was pivotal in the XRP case, putting the SEC on the defensive, with Hinman's revelations leading to two critical points on which the entire case rests. According to page 376 of the deposition transcript, Hinman had meetings with Ripple executives in 2020 while serving as SEC director, 
with the goal of finding a way for XRP to be regulatory compliant. During these meetings, he first suggested that XRP was a prohibited asset. This supports the Ripple team's claim that they were not given reasonable notice that they were operating an illegal asset or required regulatory compliance. Ripple Labs CEO Brad Garlinghouse took to Twitter to discuss how the case had evolved from a dispute over the classification of XRP as a security to a larger dispute over digital assets law and fair use. When this was something that happened in favor of the fintech company, however, the specific thing did not go quite as planned for Ripple. Previously, the court accepted SEC's request to grant Ripple's order to produce 1 million Slack messages for 11 custodians chosen by the agency. Despite Ripple's continuous objection, the court rejected the same on the ground of the production importance in the case. Attorney Jeremy Hogan expressed his views on this issue and said the SEC was looking to build a suit and argument showing that XRP was sold as an investment contract and thus a security. These are probably because the SEC realizes that XRP's technical problem and blockchain ledger are directly unfavorable to the motion of the SEC and firm ground for the loss of SEC thus, from a marketing perspective, SEC stands out. The SEC can argue that Ripple has marketed the token as a security, presented it as a share and tried to manipulate its price action. Well, this might be one reasonable argument that the agency can work on to break Ripple's fair notice defense. With that being said, let's talk about what is happening in terms of the token's price action. The token's current price range is at its highest in three months. A sharp change in its price action indicates that it is in a position of strength. Now, Let's take a look at the price of XRP from the beginning of the year to where it is now. The token suffered significant losses due to the US regulatory body slamming the market for Ripple and XRP, and it wasn't trading well at the start of the new year 2021. However, when compared to where it was in 2020, there was a significant difference. XRP began its bull run on February 28, 2021, at a price of 41 cents. Because the increase was gradual and steady, the token was able to reach higher and more stable levels. The token broke out from its key resistance at 60 cents on April 3, 2021, towards its all-time highs, after trading in a steady uptrend until April. On April 14, 2021, XRP hit an all-time high of $1.84, and it rose exponentially with incredible precision. Since then, XRP has been attempting to maintain and break through the $1.30 resistance level. However, on September 6, 2021, the token overcame its significant resistance and reached $1.38. Because we already know that XRP is going to be a big deal once the SEC issue is resolved, anything below $1.30 would be ideal for financial cartels. The financial cartels are currently stacking buyers as much as possible. At the same time, the price remains around $1.20 to $1.30 in order to accumulate as much as possible before the price skyrockets later this month following the settlement or any other settlement in the lawsuit. Currently, Ripple is trading at $1.07 with a red of 3.64% change in the last 24 hours. The falling price action might seem a bit alarming, however, a little bull pressure is needed for the token to close above $1.30. There are fair chances that XRP would bounce off from its psychological support at $1 and be seen trading upwards. If you want to continue to know about XRP, we have got two more videos waiting for you on the end screen to check out. Make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Kindly note that the prices of cryptocurrencies frequently change, so by the time you watch this video, it might have changed to a whole new value. The information provided in this video does not constitute investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, or any other sort of advice, and you should not treat any of the content as such. The content in this video is for educational purposes only and hence should not be considered as financial advice. Do conduct your own due diligence and consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions.